Maybe we could get away It's finally summer, the perfect day I'm thinking about the time we had Maybe this could be the way to change What's up guys, how's it going? I hope you're having an amazing day. So it is the new year and I wanna tell you guys some things that may help you achieve your running goals or just your goals in 2020. Because you know, it's a new year. We have new resolutions, there's a lot of things happening. I'm traveling down the coast of California right now and we are on the Pacific Coast Highway which is insane. Here's my van and my friend Cole. I mean, it's just the most phenomenal thing and like I hope that through this video I can show you guys some of the drone shots, some of these shots. Of us traveling down this coastline to just inspire you and make you feel so good and see the most beautiful things you've ever seen while also consuming some hopefully beneficial advice. I can't, I can't get over this, like just look how gorgeous this is. It's just crazy. Okay, so my first pieces of advice are gonna be somewhat simple, somewhat basic, but they are really important things while setting a New Year's resolution, while following up on it, while achieving your running dreams. The first one of those is to actually define your goals. And what I mean by that is a lot of people just have goals like to get faster or to you know become a better runner this year. And, and those goals are great, don't get me wrong but you need to be more specific. For me, it's running a 14 minute 5K and you know, running a half marathon faster than I ran my first half marathon in my marathon in LA. And then also trying to run over 110 mile a week. I just wanna do it to be able to say that I've done it. And so those are some attainable goals, some specific goals that I wanna achieve. But for you, it may be breaking 10 in the two mile, breaking 15 minutes in the two mile, maybe running a new track mile PR. Something that's highly specific that you can actually attain. So the second piece of more simple advice and the last of these before we kind of head out and go somewhere else is that you should probably set small goals along the way to achieve your bigger goals, your specific goals. Making small goals is really important for, you know, giving that sense of fulfillment. Like when you are training to a really big goal, it's not going to come instantly. And you kind of want small goals to keep encouraging you throughout the entire process. So if you're trying to run 11 minutes in the two mile and you currently run at 11.30, then maybe you make small 10 second goals in between there being 11.20, 11.10, and then finally 11 minutes. So then when you hit those small goals, you'll feel that deep sense of appreciation and that deep sense of like fulfillment and you know, like you achieve something. Because achieving these small goals are big goals. They're big things that have happened and thinking about where you came from being maybe like a 12 minute two mile, pretty special and it's pretty cool and it'll help you get to your bigger goal. Um, but now we need to continue down the highway because we're trying to make it to Santa Barbara by the end of the night and um, we're still like 150 miles away. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this third tip is to kind of explore and travel and create new experiences while you're training. Because I think a lot of times we get roped up into our old routes, our old habits, and it makes it kind of boring to run. Like, I hate to say that, but when I was back home, I would do all the same routes too many times, and it just made me not excited to run. But if you're trying to achieve your goals and trying to get to a place where you're really satisfied in the sport, then you're gonna need to travel to create that experience. You don't have to, but it just makes it more fun. And I don't even mean traveling like I am right now. I mean literally driving or biking five minutes away from your house and just starting to run somewhere new and maybe turning down a street you've never turned down. I mean, don't turn down bad streets or anything like that, but you know what I mean. And so I just think going for an adventure, making your runs feel more like an exploration than a chore is gonna really help you achieve your running goals this year. It's so big for me and it's really helped me a lot of times when I've needed a little bit of inspiration. Maybe, maybe try like once a week or something like that. That's, that's a good goal, one trip a week. But guys, before I say this next one, like just look at this place. I mean, it is stunning. It, it's gorgeous. I, I mean, there's no words to describe. <laughs> so 
So this, this next point is a little bit materialistic, and I know it is, but it's something that I think is really important. And it's not to plug any brand or anything like that, because this video is actually sponsored by Skillshare, which I'm super excited about. And let me tell you about Skillshare before we continue, and, and let, me, let me tell you about them, because they're This video awesome. is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is the online learning community that has tons of classes on anything that you could imagine. And recently I've been watching Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank, who is a YouTube creator who made a course on Skillshare, and it basically teaches you how to follow through on habits and build healthy routines. And this is something that's important in achieving your goals, which goes along with this entire video. Make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. They're giving away two free months of Skillshare Premium for free. So basically all you have to do is go to the link in the description and then you'll get two free months and it's $10 a month after that. I'd highly recommend checking it out. It is amazing. I personally use Skillshare and they are amazing. So be sure to check them out and let's get back to So as I was saying, this is a bit materialistic, which I don't really enjoy, but it is something that truly does motivate me. And I hope you guys enjoyed that Skillshare ad because I really like Skillshare cars are driving by but it's to buy yourself something that excites you about the sport maybe this be a gel which is only a dollar or two or maybe some new shoes or a new headlamp you know to run at night all these things are small little things that add to the sport and make it a little bit more fun a little bit more interesting especially when you need a little extra motivation a new pair of shoes that you're excited to run in is the best feeling I mean I get so excited to go out and run in the next percents or even in some new trainers you know I, I just love going out there and trying a new pair of shoes and something that I've never had and it's good for your legs so get yourself something that makes you excited about the sport it's materialistic I don't love it but it's something that motivates me and you know I'm just being real with you guys now is time to get on to our next point as the Sun sets here in beautiful California on route 1 highway I mean Cole this does not get better Okay, so this point's gonna sound a little bit weird and it's kinda getting dark, but it's something that I think is super important to remember. And it's something that I'm giving this preface because it's gonna sound weird, um, but it's to care less about your goals, running, all of that. And I don't mean that in a way to like be kinda like, don't care about running, but it's like, running is so important. And deep down, I love it so much. But I think the times I've had the most success have been when I've lightened up a little bit. I haven't been like, Every single calorie has to be counted. Every mile has to be done. It's kind of when I've just had the most fun with the sport that I've done the best. And when I've treated it as something that is a sport instead of my entire life, you know? And I think just caring a little bit less and allowing yourself to really enjoy it is what matters the most. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what time you run. It matters, did you enjoy running that time? Was it important to run that time to you? You know, and I think that that's something that's so important and it's always led me to be the best I've ever been in the sport. I've just lightened up, enjoyed myself, and let it happen. That was, that was a little deep, but I think it needed to be said. So, um, now it's time for our last point with this beautiful sunset. Look at Paul. So amazing. Okay, the final point is to incorporate a friend. Have some fun. As I was saying, kind of piggyback on the last point, but do this with a friend. Set goals together, maybe challenge each other to run more miles this year, or maybe say, I'll run faster than you in the mile this year. Something like that, that just gets you so ready to be your best self. When you're the most competitive, when you're just having fun with your friend, going back and forth in races, and you know, pushing each other to be the best versions of each other. That's when you're going to see the most success, when you're really going to be chasing after those goals and you're going to be achieving them. You're not going to have to worry even about motivation, how to stay motivated on these goals. It won't matter because you're going to be pushing against your friend. You're going to be trying to become the best version of yourself, as I said. I just think that's something that can take you so far in the sport. But truly, I hope that you have an amazing 2020. I hope that you guys are crushing your goals. Share your goals in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you enjoyed it even more and want to see more of this. Um, um, this is 2020. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And let's make this the best year yet. As usual, live happy, be healthy, and I'll see you later. Bye.